Hi everyone, hi Nick. I have a completed journal to share with you today. This is something a little bit um, a little bit different. It's a soft cover, which is not different, but um, and it's built on a it's it's nine by six. This is a nine by six um, clasp envelope that's underneath all this stuff. <clears throat> it's uh, two signatures and I've left tons of stuff hanging off it. There's lots of threads and um, I've done, I've left the center um, ties from the signatures. I've left them really long and I've put uh, butterflies on here and there's seam binding. Um, but, but this is um, just some fabric squares that I had um, that Renee gave me and I just um, I didn't want to I didn't want to buy an old quilt I didn't want to cut up one of my family quilts but I wanted to do something um, patchwork so I just glued these squares and I cut some of them and um, onto the um, envelope and then after it dried I just sewed around like you're making um, um, Nick the Booksmith's um, Franken paper, but I kind of used the same concept except I did it with fabric and kind of came out. You know, I wanted it to look sort of crazy quilty like, and that, you know, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. And then I pinked around all the edges, and then I just made a collage with some some drop cloth canvas and a book plate. And there's a Tim Holtz number clip there and a pin and another pin and some old buttons um, to just kind of make a collage kind of a thing and we've got um, fabric tabs with some more of these pieces of fabric and we'll go inside um, the it's really a patchwork um, the the um, this is Tim Holtz memoranda paper on the front and back inside cover. Um, the pages, the printable pages are Artie Mays's um, patchwork um, pages, but I've, I kind of made everything all, it's all uneven. I mean these are small and then the, these are bigger and I've just used bits and pieces of oh, there's Artie Mays and Tsunami Rose and Mrs. Cogs and Old Design Shop and all just a whole bunch of different things in here. I and mean, this is really packed, but there's also a lot of writing space and it's just bits and pieces and I didn't print out anything except these and just starting to use up some stuff and so I'll make a quick flip so this doesn't take half the day. Um, index cards, it's some Rita Donnelly flips and just different pieces of ephemera. Some of them are printed on paper, some of them are printed on like a cream cardstock. Just odds and ends and bits and pieces. That's what's in there. There's avocado paper. These can of course be attached and made into you know side pockets for whoever gets this. And I've sewed on all the printables. Tons of places to write. This is some um, wax paper or glassine, coffee dyed glassine paper on top of some um, one of the background pages that goes with these. Um, and then just some Tim Holtz stuff. And that's Tsunami Rose that it shrunk down. I don't remember where that came from. And I think that's Tsunami Rose. Not 100% sure. Um, that's from Renee, um, Edith Holden, and when I punched it, and I just left the negative space there, and I, I didn't end up, well actually I did use these, I used these for layering, but it's the same punch as this one, uh, where is it, oh, it's here, it's over here, that punch, this is really old, I think I might even have found that on eBay. Um, Tim Holtz piece, and then that's Tsunami Rose, and that's Artie Mays. And tracing paper. 
pulled out some like vellum tag there that opens up belly band oh that butterfly is tsunami rose I think and so is this envelope crossword puzzle and I don't remember where I where that came from pink paper graph paper botanicals flash card it's just odds and ends that is from junk that treasures so is that it's just an old manila envelope that I cut up manila folder big bag it's from Denise's shop journaling sheet in there it's the middle and there's I left these really long I mean, these can be cut off and you know, not used or they even make a bookmark it's the other side of that big bag and there's a piece of ephemera in there another flip up with some ephemera a chubby tag that is graphic 45 and then a to-do list Coffee, gotta have coffee. And that comes off, and this is a double at Tsunami Room. Um, no, already made. A piece of ephemera on that side. More of that crossword puzzle. Pulled out. Some more vellum, corner rounded, um, side tuck piece of ephemera here and this one I really I can't it's Mrs. Cogs or old design shop and I, I don't remember which one <clears throat> just love this I, I love these pages they're just really cool they go with they can just go with anything um, this is a Franken paper envelope that I made ages ago so I left it empty Something in there. I just paper clipped it on. Forgot I even had one of those left. Some more Edith Holden. Tough tuck. It's a little of this and a little of that. fabric pocket and it's just some muslin and some vintage lace with a tag and some ephemera that's the middle I think this is my favorite page of the whole the whole kit it's actually two kits large tag and some ephemera and some more pink I think this is paper towel. Renee sent me a bunch of extras with um, some of her avocado paper that she sells now, and I think this, I think this is, it feels like it might be paper towel, like the, what comes on a roll that you would, you know, in a public restroom. I think that's what, I think that's what this is. It's what it feels like. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think it is. It's really cool. Envelope. And that's got a I know it's going to be stuck. I know it's going to be stuck. I'm sure it's going to be stuck. Nope, it wasn't stuck. Huh. Well, you know. It's got a double journal sheet. Get it back in there. And then pick up the paper clip.
Some botanicals, another three to flip. Telegram, I'm going to print some more of those. I love those. Some more ephemera. It would be nice if you could only pay a dollar for a pair of shoes. That would be awesome. Oh, Edith Holden. Lined paper with a fold out. Another one of those. More ephemera. This is similar to the first signature. Another belly band. This one envelope has been coffee dyed. I think that one is um, Artie Mays. I have a big bag with this great big envelope. Let's do it this way. Stick it like that, I guess. Another fabric pocket. And some botanical thing. And then this large sheet and mason jars. And those can be cut apart. Or not. <clears throat> Some more botanicals. And crossword puzzle. Fold out, and that's just a, a little Tim Holtz thingy. That's the middle with two more butterflies. Side pocket. And, oh yeah, that's a big one. Another fold out. Side pocket with some ephemera and a great big tag. Um, paper bag with some another big journal sheet in there. Like that Sears catalog. Another flip up. It's stuck down a little bit. A to do sheet. And oops, postcard. And some more ephemera. Another fold out. And Mr. Owl. Another one of these um, tracing paper, glassine paper pockets. With a large tag and some ephemera. This is open on the side, so you can really put something fairly big in there. It's a great big vintage um, pearl button. And another one of these envelopes with a large tag. The other half of that, what I think is paper towel. Another lady. And a small tag, pink paper, and that is that. So this will be listed in the shop, which I will link below. So you can pop on over there and check it out. And um, that's it. And I will be back again with another completed project. And thanks for watching. Bye.